blind UK patients to receive bionic eyes. England's National Health Service will fund the procedures for 10 blind patients to be fitted with bionic eyes, which should restore partial eyesight. To be fitted with the bionic eyes, patients have to receive implants in their retinas. They also must wear camera-mounted glasses that are equipped with transmitters, along with a small computer attached to their waist. The camera records the scene before them, while a video is sent to the small computer. The image is then transmitted wirelessly to the implant in the eye. Then the image is converted to electrical pulses and sent to the electrodes attached to the retina. The electrodes stimulate the remaining cells in the retina to transmit the image to the brain. The procedures will take place in 2017 and the patients will then be monitored for one year in order to assess how the implants have affected their lives. Here's a few more stories about adding robotics to the human body. UK man will finally get to try out his bionic tallywhacker. A British security guard is looking forward to losing his virginity at the grand old age of 43 after being fitted with a bionic manhood to replace the member he lost as a six-year-old in a horrific traffic accident. Mohammed Abad from Edinburgh was fitted with his eight-inch long robotic super schlong three years ago in surgery that involved taking a skin graft from his arm. Stronger. To get an erection, Muhammad has to press a button embedded in his testicles, which then pumps fluid into his penis from a reserve in his belly. He married two years ago, but failed to tell his wife about his uh, special shaft. She left him last year before the pair had sealed the deal. Now Muhammad has worked out a deal with dominatrix Charlotte Rose to help him finally break his duck. Rose says she is honored. Let's hope for Muhammad's sake that nothing goes wrong. If all goes well, Mohammed says he eventually hopes to get married again and have kids. We wish him luck. Human trials on bionic spine to start next year. There may be new hope for people with spinal cord injuries thanks to a device that is being hailed as the holy grail in bionics. Australian scientists are developing a bionic spine that could allow paralyzed patients to move using the power of thought. The device, a stent electrode recording array, or stentrode, is the size of a small paperclip. Once inserted into the jugular vein using a catheter, it is pushed up to a blood vessel in the brain, where it then expands. Electrodes on the stent record electrical activity from the motor cortex, which controls movement and translates it into commands. The commands are sent to a transmitter embedded just below the chest, which then sends them wirelessly to an exoskeleton or a wheelchair, allowing the patient to move. Scientists tested the stent on a sheep for 190 days and are set to do human trials on three paraplegic patients next year. The project was three years in the making and was partially funded by Australia's National Health and Medical Research Council, as well as by the U.S. Army. Iron Man delivers 3D printed bionic arm to boy born with missing limb. A team of engineering students led by Albert Monero at the University of Central Florida are on a mission to literally give a helping hand to children with missing limbs. Robert Downey Jr. teamed up with Limitless Solutions and Microsoft's collective project to deliver a specially designed 3D printed limb to Alex Mead, a seven year old boy born with an underdeveloped right arm. Inspired by a story about a South African who printed a hand, Monero was driving when he came up with the idea to help kids in need. He teamed up with friends and colleagues to create prosthetic limbs with a 3D printer. After the printing's finished, the arms then assembled by Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, or anyone else willing to lend a hand, pun intended. At a muscle sensor, an Arduino Micro, an aircraft servo, tossed in a battery, and boy, you got yourself a bionic arm. A new limb costs just 350 bucks for the materials, less than 1% of the normal market price of $40,000. Take that, creepy prosthetic arm salesman. If you'd like to donate to Limitless Solutions, we've included a link in the description. And if you're looking to print one yourself, Monero has shared the template and all the instructions on the 3D printing site Thingiverse. Thanks, Iron Man. Dennis Abo Schoenson is the first amputee in the world to possess a bionic hand that has restored his ability to feel. 
Shunsen severely wounded his left arm nine years ago in a fireworks accident. His arm was amputated and replaced with a prosthetic limb. The feeling bionic hand uses electrodes connected to nerves in the patient's upper arm. From sensors attached to the tendons of each finger, electrical signals are then transmitted to the patient's brain each time he grabs an object. Even while blindfolded and wearing earplugs, Shunsen is able to distinguish hard, soft, round, and square objects with his artificial hand. Shenzhen is the only person so far to have tested the prosthetic hand. If the system works over an extended period of time, it could improve the function of prosthetic limbs and the lives of their users. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now!